there guys welcome back to the kingdom if you are new to my youtube channel what's poppin my name is faith please go ahead and subscribe guys subscribe 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 give this video a big thumbs up already before you get watching it because you are about to learn all the tea about me and mines because you know your girl's a little crazy sometimes but that's that's the part of being you know a brand new young adult into the adult world you get to do crazy shit and talk about it why not so yeah, um, you can go ahead and follow me on my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, um, and you know, kind of get to know me better. But with that being said, let's just go ahead and get into this awesome video. The first question is, never have I ever cleaned up by piling everything into a closet? So I have, let's just make that clear. I have done that. I believe I was in like middle school or something and it wasn't really a closet. I just used to just like push everything under my bed. Yeah, that was like the stage where you don't want to be, you don't want to be doing your chores. You just kind of want to just go out and play with your friends all the time. And that was the stage I was at when I used, when I did something like this. Nowadays, if I see anything under my bed, I'm ready to pull my hair out. So definitely I have, but when I was younger. Never have I ever met a celebrity. Um, I'm not sure if he's a celebrity, but I met Neve from Catfish. Um, I met him at the university I attended in the hallway. It was really pretty weird, but we caught a selfie together. Never have I ever been to a strip club. I have never been to a strip club, guys. I live in Connecticut. It's not LA. It's not New York. It's not that lit you know maybe if i lived in you know like bigger cities i would go to one but i'm 24 and i have never been to a strip club and you know big hoops to all my girls out there making their money or whatever but you know i don't know i just feel like it's not my scene never have i ever stolen drugstore makeup i have never done that and isn't it shocking because i literally buy like half of my makeup from cvs weird right but no i've never stolen any makeup from a drugstore um never have i ever pretended to laugh at a joke i didn't get dude um i don't i'm a capricorn we're pretty real i don't really if it's not funny i'm not gonna laugh i'm just gonna be like why did you do that like why did you say that joke like you know what i'm saying but um if it's like a celebrity or like someone i like I will pretend to laugh all the way. And then I was like, or no. <laughs> it wasn't even that funny, girl. You need to chill. But have I done that before in the past? I don't know. I probably have. I just don't remember a time when I did it, though. I just feel like it's something that people do unconsciously. So I don't really have a story behind when I did it. Um, never have I ever worn someone else's underwear. Dude. <laughs> Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying. What the fuck? Why would people? Why would someone do that? That's just called an infection case, and that is disgusting. Next. Never have I ever wanted to be one of the Kardashians. Um, I always say there's certain things about the Kardashians that I like, but do I want to be them? Hell no. Let's just put it out there. I'm obsessed with myself. I'm obsessed with my life. I like how I look. I like where I am. So wanting to be anyone else, I don't know. I've just never had it in me to want to do that, be that. You know what I mean? So I never want to be in any of the Kardashians. However, I have this funny ass tweet. I kind of got like a lot of retweets. And I, I always would say like, I want Kim's closet. I want Kylie's money. I want Kendall's career, which is modeling. And I want their mom's Chris work ethic. And I want Courtney's body and Chloe's personality. Those are the little things that I admire in each of the Kardashians. But do I want to be one of them? No, I'm good. Never have I ever faked being sick so I didn't have to show up to an event. I can't go out. <sighs> I'm sick. I don't recall doing it, but probably, I probably just didn't want to go. 
but like i said like i'm so off straightforward with people that i wouldn't blame it on something stupid like i'm sick i would just say i don't want to go and then let them know like i'm not i'm not up for it you know what i mean like i don't make up lies to try to make it seem like you know what I mean? Like, if I don't want to come, I'm not going to come. And I'm going to tell you why I don't want to come. I can't just lie like that and blame it on a sickness. Because when people do shit like that and end up getting sick, are you surprised that you're sick? You know what I mean? So I don't do that. I just tell like it is. That's it. Um, Never have I ever taught my friend boyfriend was hot. Um, That's mad weird. I'm, I'm all about girl code. Like, I'm so girly. I'm all about girl code. If... I mean, I don't date my friends' boyfriends, and I'm hoping my friends don't date my exes. So, you know, I don't know. I've never, I mean, I would tell my friend like, oh, he's cute for you, but I wouldn't say that my friend boyfriend is hot. So, no, I've never thought my friend boyfriend was hot. <clears throat> never have I ever told someone something they had on like an outfit was cute when I knew that truly it wasn't. I've definitely done that. Oh my gosh. I have this thing where I don't like hurting people's feelings. You know what I mean? Like, I like being respected for what I like and what I do. So I like to respect other people's choices of what they put on and stuff. And if it's ugly, hey, sorry. I, I had to say it. it was nice because I'm a good person, not because I think it's cute. So I definitely have done that before. I feel like all girls have done that before. Oh my god, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks! <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. Oh my god, I love your bracelet. Where did you get it? <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Um, never have I ever slept in church. Definitely I have slept in church. Sorry mom. Never have I ever gotten high or wasted. Um, I've been in like a hot box, like a car, like it's just that, but I've never like smoked it, none of that. I've never gotten wasted. It may sip sip here a little bit, but I've never gotten like wasted to a point where I can't stand up straight. That's just that, like I've never done that, so no. Never have I ever had a crush on a teacher. I totally have. College. I think he taught history. Yeah. Yeah. So I have. Secrets out there, America. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Never have I ever done crack. I just need $200. I take these real estate classes and I'm back on my feet, baby. Really? I've never ever in my life, I don't do any kind of drugs. I would never do crack. That's a funny ass never have I ever do. I really like that one. Never have I ever pretended to be texting someone or talking on the phone with someone to avoid someone else. If you're a female or a college girl and you have never done this, dude, get your life. Cause I've definitely done this before. Guilty as, as ever. Never have I ever Googled my own name to see what comes up. Um, I've done it like multiple times. Never have I ever re-gifted a gift. You caught me. I've definitely re-gifted a gift before, but nothing sentimental. I mean, there just has to be like, it has to be like a, like something I have a lot of. Like I can't keep 17 purses. I can't keep 17 shoes, especially if they're the same shoes and I have them already and I was given it as a gift. It's kind of like selfish to just keep it, keep it if you don't if you're not going to use it. So I've definitely re-gifted some shoes before, I remember, and I gave it to my goddaughter. So yeah. Boom. Never have I ever used a fake ID. Okay, I've never used a fake ID. I've never needed to use a fake ID because I was always the oldest amongst my group of friends because I have an early birthday. That's just that. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. In what life would somebody do this? I don't know. I There's just certain things you shouldn't use because of hygiene. I would never, not my mom's, not my boyfriend's, I would never use another person's toothbrush because people can have cavities. 
and whatever's going on in there in their mouth i don't need to have that anywhere on me so i've never done that before ever um never have i ever played hard to get i totally have it's 2020 if you don't play hard to get let me tell you guys ladies if you don't play hard to get sometimes people take you for granted and they walk all over you so i have definitely played hard to get ever since becoming you know an adult i've played hard to get before so yeah never have i ever not tipped at a restaurant you caught me i feel so guilty but this this was during college days when you know we were super broke after buying our textbooks but we had some type of money to go out and eat we bought our foods however there's been times where i haven't tipped people not because their services wasn't good but simply because i didn't have it and when you don't have it honey you don't have it you know what i mean like i never be myself before it now i do know to tip people so yeah um never have i ever <clears throat> had surgery i've never had surgery in my life before i'm highly highly afraid of hospitals emergency rooms surgical scissors fucking cuts anything that you know harms this body of mine i don't do it i mean maybe if i had broken a leg or something something extreme but um i know for a fact in my entire 24 years of living i've never gotten surgery um never have i ever adjusted my button based on who's in the room um i've never done that y'all thought look at y'all y'all thought you thought you thought i was gonna say you're i'm not homing for nobody <laughs> nobody worth my time like that hell no what i have done though is i've like looked at my like you know like the little girl checks you be doing like oh is my face good is my lips good is my butt okay i'm gonna check i cool because you know you know who's around you know what i'm saying i've done that before but i've never had to like want to show this or show my stuff no that's just doing the most and if you have to do all that for someone to notice you they're not worth it honey never have i ever kissed a girl I've never done that. I'm a Christian girl. I respect myself. I'm not about the trying that out vibe. Nope. Can't do it. It's just, I love men too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's too many good looking men in the world for me to be trying to kiss a female. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've never done that. So, yeah. Never have I ever Googled something so that I'd know how to spell it. I do that on a daily. Like everybody else. Never have I ever had trouble sleeping after watching a scary movie <laughs> y'all remember when it part one came out i saw it and charlie was shook when she got home that night so i slept with my lights on i locked my door i had a little i, I even put a pocket knife under my pillow relax that's how terrified i was from that movie so after i saw it part one i was that clown was in my mind uh, everywhere in my life and i just felt like that night i had to sleep with the lights on and just be prepared for whatever was about to go down you know get crazy over here. and i'm not about to let no clown come through my room and chop you know what i'm saying so yeah never have i ever performed in a talent show ah let's do a little story time i have performed in a talent show before y'all i was in a talent show in middle school and we came in second place only because there was a little there was like this b-boy at our school who was like super popular and all the girls liked him you thought it was justin bieber or whatever so he came out he bust a little move do a little backflip and the girls were like ah we love you however me and my friend majesty reyes we slay the talent show and we came up with this dope dance routine to a spanish song by like daddy yankee or something this was back in like 2000 and probably like nine and yeah we killed that time show came in second place you know it was really lit and you know it was a great experience i miss you majesty shout out to you never have i ever been terrified of a theme park ride oh my shit y'all i'm just gonna put it out there y'all can think i'm lame or boring or whatever but 
I don't like roller coasters. I don't like anything that's mad high up in the air because Charlie's afraid of heights or whatever. However, though, I don't know the name of the fucking roller coaster, but when we first came to America from Africa, we decided to go to Six Flags. Now, you see these rides and you see people screaming and you think it's like a happy, you know, like, oh my gosh, how lit, what? I have to try that. I've never been on that. So I took my little butt on like the biggest roller coaster in the whole amusement park, not knowing what it feels like to even be on. You know, like how you should start, you should always start off stuff like a smaller level and then work your way up. I just got there for the first time, seeing this thing and was like, <gasps> mom i have to go on i have to try it so you know i took my little bun and roll or whatever in my new fresh jordans because i thought i was on that mm -hmm. <laughs> hey y'all come look at this got on the roller coaster shoes on flying off <laughs> i swear to god guys i was crying i there was no screaming of joy on that roller coaster from me at all when i got off literally my ghost left my body that's how terrified i was of that roller coaster and since that was the very first ride i ever went on just know that after that i have never been on any other one ever again so just to put out there if you were to go to an amusement park together i probably won't be the your favorite choice to take because i'm not going on nothing arcades i can do shows i can do i just don't do roller coaster rides because i'm afraid of heights and I've had a bad experience doing it, so yeah. Never have I ever sent a text to the wrong person. Oh my gosh, I've totally done that before and it's so embarrassing. So one time I decided to send a text message to my little sister that was supposed to be sent to my boyfriend. And it was funny because I was talking about her. And then when I sent it to her, she was like, what? What are you talking about? And I was like, you know, I couldn't even save myself and it was so embarrassing, but you know, shit happens she's my sister we got over at the end never have i ever had a date with someone i met on an app so i have in high school but you know long story short i did yeah never have i ever eaten from someone else's plate when they weren't looking oh i've done that multiple times y'all i'm a foodie i love food so if you order something at a restaurant that i wanted to try but didn't order I'm gonna take it off your plate, but only if I know you like. I'm just gonna ask you because I do this to my boyfriend all the time, anyways. And I've probably I've been caught one time by my sister. She wasn't looking, so I took something off her plate. Um, after we like had made food and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I just like to eat anything. So at this point, I definitely have done that, and I'm proud to say I did with that being said guys that is it for never have i ever i hope you guys learned a little something about your girl i hope you guys enjoy enjoy watching this video i love you guys so much if you have not already go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up comment some never have i ever that you've also done like me and was so totally embarrassed about you know we're human we all make mistakes and whatnot but yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next YouTube video. Mwah. Be safe, guys. Bye.